because you'll be uh, probably a place of action sometimes or efficient. But before getting to task this subject, allow me to discuss with you about the principle of idea of phenomena. This phenomena is the object who supplies the idea of the principle of action for any type of machine. Of general, in general, you know that our life, uh, this life, this space, contains much more than words. And each word is considered as an equal circuit. But there is no any junction, there is no any channel between any two of them. Each word in our life has a special specification. And this specification is a special light for each one. Then there is no any special light equalizer for any two of the words in our life. But there are only three types of words that they are very important because this word is called, and this is the second, this is the third. For example, P word, for example, artist, legal word, cow's word, monkey word, dog's word, personal word, any type of word. There is no any channel between them. Maybe there is junction. But for each word, there is a special specification. For Leon's, for example, there is language, there is distribution of working, there is working, there is type of parameters. So each word has special, but there is junction between any two of them. But there is only three types of this word, that this word are interlocking to each other. For example, this is a critical word, this is magnetic word, and this is spatial, our spatial word. There is interlocking between them. If you have an ability to make any reaction in any two of them, you can obtain the energy here in the third world. This is general phenomena. For example, suppose that you make an action between this world and this world, you can obtain the energy here. At the same time, if you make an action between these two worlds, also you can find the energy here. At the same time, when we wish to, to obtain the work in the third world. This phenomenon is very, really, very really important phenomenon because according to it, can express the idea of principal action for any type of machine. For example, suppose that you wish to express the idea of generation in station, for example. Of course you know the aim of, 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 of a station that it must be obtained the current. But when you search about the responsible site for producing the current, you shall find that in UCMF is responsible for finding the UCMF. Well, but the question, which one is responsible for producing the UCMF? You shall find that the right change of a flux in respect of time with flow over dt is responsible for producing the UCMF. But the right change of a flux is considered as a channel by it, we can jump or enter inside the world of the critical world. Because you know that, because you know that, yes, every world in our life has house. The electricity, the house of electricity, this one is this conductor. In this conductor, there are a large number of parameters. And these parameters have measuring weight. I want measuring that as a personal. Suppose, for example, I need, for example, to raise my heart to this position, I need a few seconds. But the electron has an ability to take around the earth seven times per one second. So look, the, di the big difference between the measuring of all personal and the parameters of the electricity. So in general, the measuring of electricity is much bigger for myself as a personal, which I live in our space. So in general, these three spaces are very important. I search the, the, uh, the question parameter, which one question parameter is responsible for producing the earth? I need three parameters, flux, I need coil, I need revolving. Look carefully. This this is coil. This coil is compared to my to my life because I can capture the coil. I can see it. I can hear the descending when it descends in the earth. At the same time, I can't see the flux because this is out my mind. This is an imaginary line. So by summation of all these three parameters, by this helping factor, I can obtain the rate change of a flux in respect of time, and this is responsible for regulating the E, and this is responsible for regulating the I, and the I must be go direct to the consumers for safety, of course. This is the general idea for new phenomena. This new phenomena is much important to express the idea of my lecture, the synchronous motor. So how can I express the idea of principal action of synchronous motor? Before entering into task to this subject, you must
must know what is the type of this synchronous motor. Synchronous motor composes all the two main parts. Firstly, first one is called as the stator, and the secondly as the rotor. The difference between this type of machine and all types of machines that there are two types of coils here in the, in the rotor. May all the machines contain only one coil here. You must remember this difference. I mean that there are two wires, that are, there are two coils must be situated inside the depot. For example, suppose that this is the pole, for example, this is the pole. And this is the second, for example, and this is the third, and this is the fourth, for example. Look carefully. There is a winding must be wounded here around the circumference so of the of the of, of, of the ball. At the same time, the direction of this current must be related to this direction. May this coil must be when it must be connected in here. That this. This wire must be the direction of this wire must be in the reverse direction of this direction of the current here. The same thing here, the direction of coil of the current which passes through the course here in the reverse direction here. So this is N, this is S, and this is N. This is S and this is N and this is S. And all these must be go direct to the D6 citation. So the general construction before entering to the principal action of this type of machine, you must know, I, I will give you something idea about the construction. The construction consists of the two, theta and rotor. Rotor composes of two wires, firstly these coils, and the secondly there are another coils here. These coils are called the pass coil. When I get the stator, and the stator of course, this is the stator. And this is, this is the rotor. Here is the rotor. Suppose that I give, this is the other three-phase supply. What happens if I give you three-phase supply? When I give the three-phase supply, for example, three-phase supply, this is, must be going go direct to the stator, of course. Passes current I phase number one and the winding of the stator. This is the current I phase number two and this is I current phase number three. Of course, this is current must be passes to the, to the winding of the phase number one. So it must be protected by the number of turns in the phase number one. This is a producing magnetomotive force. This magnetomotive force has a special direction. This is responsible also for producing the flux here. The same thing happened. This is flux related to the phase number one. This is must be related to the phase number two. And this is must be related to the phase number three. The summation of all these flux is produced in U flux. The general specification, specification of this U flux as the main flux. This main flux has general specification. First, it must be revolving. And the constant and, and this rotation must be constant. And the value of this magnetic field also it must be constant. So the general specification here must be revolving. Secondly, the revolving must be equal to the K, and this is equal to the 120 frequency over P. And thirdly, the value of this magnetic field also must be constant. Suppose, for example, that this flux, this spinning, passes in this direction. What happens if we have many flux? This is mean that the coils of the rotor in the upside of the pole and the coils that must be surrounding around the, the, the area of the pole, the two coils must be cutting. This is mean that phi men here producing 2 phi over dt for the pulse. At the same time, producing the d phi over dt for the coils. Finally, this is responsible, of course, the first one, producing E, and this is producing E, this E1, E2. This is must be produces also current I1, this is producing I current 1. This is responsible for producing torque, torque number 1, this is producing to the torque number 2. The summation of two torques give me resultant torque, and this is resultant torque must be very big. This torque, because must be adding to each other, must be summation to each other. Why? Because the direction of the two torque is in the same direction. Finally, this is the result of 
thought is very big. Why? Because this direction of torque is the same direction of this torque. I have two torques. The direction of them are the same. So I have big torque. This big torque gives me rotation to the rotor. So this rotor, for example, equal, for example, 190 for uh, 9, for example, for 9, 7, for example. And suppose that, suppose that the synchronous speed here, synchronous speed here must be 1 revolution per minute. Carefully, there is much difference between the values. All the relative speed between them is very, very little. Because this is 140.97 and this is 150. The difference is very little. This is mean that the relative speed between the NS minus and R is very small. What does this mean? Just now you obtain that the relative speed is very, very, very small, very, very slightly. What is this has happened? This is happening that the right change here of this is the rate change of a flux with respect to of time approaches to the zero. Rate change of a flux with respect to of time also approaches to the zero. Current A approaches to the zero. A E2 also approaches to the zero. This can also approaches the zero. Finally, I can't obtain to the torque here. Just now I have a problem. Why? Because the resultant torque here approaches to the zero. So how can the rotor must be rotated? I can't obtain any row. So it must be think to search about another torque. For to receive the rotation of the torque. Why? Because the resultant torque here approaches to the zero. So just now it must be searched. Search in which wall, in what position? You must remember that there is another type of torque. This torque is called the reluctance torque. This is the reluctance torque. This is how the resultant torque. For example, this is the iron of stator. Suppose that we have N and S here. And this is the rotor, and this is N, for example, this is N. Suppose, and this is S, and this is N. Why S? Because we have N here. This is S. This is in the reverse direction of it, and this is the reverse direction of it. So just now, when this rotor in this position, and in this position exactly, we shall find that the centers of the two poles must be according for each other. All the center of them must be acting on the center of the circumference of the rotor. So just now we have no torque. Why? Because the torque acted only on the center of the circumference, all the circle. So how can I, the rotor must be rotated and the, the acting of this torque acting on the center of, of the circumference on the circle of the rotor. So in this time also I can't obtain any torque. But when I shift this to this position, look carefully. What happens? Look carefully that there is a traction force here. Also, there is a traction force here. This force, all this force. Finally, I can obtain two forces. This is very important because it has an ability to make rotation to the, to the rotor. Finally, suppose this case leads to this case. This is N, and this is N, this is S, also this is N, for example. And this is S, and this is N. Look carefully, I have a traction force here. Also, I have a traction force here. At the same time, also I have a traction force here. Also, I have a traction force here. The, the net result on that, the out force is equal to the out forces in this position. Also, I have no torque. So, the only point that it must be obtaining the torque in this point, and in the reverse direction, when this is must be called in this case. So the reluctant task, instead of the resultant torque, is much ability to make rotation to the rotor. This is, this reluctant torque will force the rotation of the rotor to become a synchronous speed. What does this mean? This is mean that the, 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 the speed of the rotor equal to the synchronous speed. But the synchronous speed of the magnetic field also equal to the 150. And this is also 1 equal to the 150 revolution ampere. Just now, the net result of the relative speed approaches to zero. So, the torque which is coming from the rotor equal to the zero at exact zero. So, this torque is equal to the zero. This is equal to the zero. This torque equal to the zero. This torque equal to Only I have result, resultant torque which is coming from the reactant torque. So, the reactant torque has much ability to make the rotation uh, uh, continue for rotation. Just now, 
my excitation equal to the zero. Just now, excitation equal to the zero. And I have I know log, of course. But now, if I have reluctance torque, and this is the reluctant torque has much ability or responsible for producing the rotor in the synchronous speed, and this synchronous speed must be equal to the synchronous speed of the magnetic field in this time and in this time exact, it must be give the excitation. What happens if I give the excitation to the machine? What happens if the excitation must be go direct? Of course, you know that suppose this is the voltage, for example, and this is the excitation. Look carefully. Just now, I give excitation E1 here. What happens? I give excitation here. What happens? The net result of the V minus E, thus, this is responsible for producing the I. But I is at right angle. All oh, I is perpendicular to the, back, to the vector of the voltage. This cannot must be perpendicular or at right angle with the net result of the V minus E. So this is 90. But you shall find that there is theta here. But of course you know that if the theta increases, cosine must be decreasing. But in general, I times cosine must be equal to the constant for all, for all values of the currents. So cosine right here is shunned. But decreases. Why? Because the theta increases in this side. So the cosine must be decreasing. This is mean that the current must be increasing. So when I increase the DC excitation, what happens? Happens as actually that the flux coming from the DC because the rotor is revolving and I have DC excitation. So the flux coming from the DC must be revolving. Why? Because the rotor is revolving. At the same time, I have magnetic field that's evolving also. So I have two magnetic fields. For the first one coming from theta, the second coming from the DC excitation. So the net result of them, I can obtain phi revolving. So the phi revolving of the DC excitation, which is related to the rotor, must be adding to the magnetic field, which is synchronous speed. So finally, I shall find that the net result of the flux must be increased. But when this is increasing, the E theta also must be increases. Why? Because there is a proportional vector to the rate change of a flux in respect to time. This is a general idea. But you know that I theta must be equal to the V minus E over ZS. This is must be increases according to that. So if this is increasing, the net result of V minus E must be decreasing. So it's not as bad as can it must be decreases. This is how can you suppress the decreasing of the current according to this phenomenon? Why? Because if I have DC field, and this DC field must be revolving, this is must be adding to the magnetic field as a synchronous speed, the net result must be increasing, the net result of the E also increasing, according to this equation, I must be decreasing. Well, but you must remember at the same time that there is cosine here. So, if the cosine comes Increase, current must be decreased. If the cosine decrease, current decre increase in the reverse direction. But the cosine of theta, theta increasing, cosine must be decreased. If theta decreasing, cosine increase. If theta increase, cosine decrease. At the same time, the net result of them must be remain constant. Well, suppose that I increase, for example, the excitation to this position. What happens? Suppose that I increase the excitation to this point. What happens if I increase the excitation to this point? Look carefully. The current which is coming from, from, the, from the V of E just now is minimum value. Minimum value and in the phase of the voltage. This same time in the same phase of the voltage here. So all thetas, look carefully to this point. All thetas and the axis of the voltage, this is mean that the machine must be drawn the the Q from the system. But you know that the system of station gives the energy as X and this is equal to the V plus JQ. Just now, if theta increases here, 
This is mean that Q increases, but this is constant. So this is mean that this active power must be decreasing. This is much a problem in our stations because all the machines, all country, the houses, the factories, all the machines, the grand effect the the the, the Q here, but this is constant. So the active power must be decreasing. But if I increase the, excit the excitation to this point, for example, what happens? Happens as this current must be also perpendicular. The current will continue to increase, but at the same time, jump out of the axis of the voltage here. What does this mean? All the theta is here, in this position, must be that the machine must be give a cue to the system, but in the reverse direction. This is a very important point. Our station, our country, our station, and our country has no synchronous machine. This is mean that all the machines must be situated in your houses, in factories, in any position, must be drawn the queue. This is mean that the queue is, is, is big, but this is constant, so this is very little. So our station is not enough for our houses, for example. But if these stations use the same current machine, this is mean that this current, for example, according to the increasing of excitation, this data up to the axis of the voltage, so this is mean that the machine, as a synchronous motion, pulled out the Q to the system, but in the reverse direction. So this is mean that the net result of adding of Q here must be decreasing. And also this is constant, so finally I can increase the value of, of P. Suppose in general that in this position, for example, here I increase the load. What happens? The load of synchronous machine. What happens? Of course you know that the two poles synchronous, synchronous stator, the synchronous, uh, the synchronous rotor, the, the centers of them must be approached to the each other. What does this mean? This is mean that if this is the power of stator and this is the power of rotor, for example, the center of this pole is much closer to the center of this pole. So there is very, very little theta here. This theta is very important. If theta approaches to, to the zero, I have no synchronous speed. But if theta is very little, this is mean that I have synchronous speed. But this theta depending on the load. Just now I have no load. So what is the load according? This must be related to the theta. This is mean that there is losses in the machine. For example, friction losses, windage losses, uh, copper losses, another type of losses. So this theta is in proportion directly with the losses of the machine where you have no load. But just now I have load. What happens if I load? Firstly, if the load increases, suppose that this load is increases, what happens? If load increases, what happens? Firstly, the current toll increases because that the, the attraction force between the earth and this machine increases. So this is mean that the counter torque, counter torque increases. Counter torque. This is mean that the result of the torque result must be decreased. According to this point, the rotation of the rotor must be decreasing. What happens if, if the rotation of the rotor decreases? What happens? Firstly, the distance between the two centers of the wall must be big. This is not remain on the cell. This is mean that, for example, the theta, the theta must be big. This theta is more than this big. What happens if theta big? What happens? But you must remember that it must be changed or controlling, must be controlling the DC excitation till I can obtain the minimum value of it. I think that you are very tired. Excuse me, five minutes only, I shall complete my lecture. I know you're tired. Only five minutes. So if this is increasing according to the decreasing of increasing of the load, happens to us as a load. The theta must be increases. So the centers, lines or magnetic neutral axis between the two centers of the two poles, rotor and the stator must be big. Or there is shifting between them. This is mean that theta must be increasing. What happens if the theta increasing? 
the rotation of the rotor must be decreasing. What happens? This is mean that the rate change of a flux with respect to of time, this rate change of a flux must be decreases. What happens if the rate change of a flux with respect to of time is, is decreased? This is mean that E is decreased also. This is mean that I increase. When I increase, this is a producing that development torque. This torque will continue the development itself till I go to the counter torque. This is very important point for rotation or principal action of the synchronous machine. I shall repeat this point. If the rotation of the of the rotor decreasing in, in, in the head of you, this is me. But the rate change of flux with respect to of time is theta decreasing. Just now E must be decreasing. The net result of current must be increasing. But of course you know that the current is responsible for producing the torque. Just now I have torque. This torque is called as the development torque. This development torque must be continue itself to be till equal and equal only the counter torque. This is mean that this, uh, this uh, development torque must be act on the rotation to become as the synchronous motor or to unbike the rotation of the rotor to the synchronous. Excuse me, I think that you are very tired and you have no ability to listen to myself. But if you have any question, I'm ready for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.